Hey guys, it is me, and today I'm going to be doing a another track review of this, I call it figure 8 track. Figure 8 track set. You know, it starts to do it right there, but it doesn't continue it, it hits, has to hit a booster over in there. Um, I should imagine this is a starter set. Um, I just got it the other day in a bag that I got that had five dollars worth of Hot Wheel track it also came with a baby toy that I might be selling on eBay it depends if I want to or not but it's very possible um anyways this track set as you can see has a loop and one of those intersection things like the last one a different kind of booster this one is more quiet so I will probably have to change the D batteries in this one a little more often nice gray loop orange track it has sort of a overpass thing right here so you could have so formula street going above and then uh, technium you know going under it as it's going above well actually the current goes that way so it would make more sense if it was pointing like that anyways it's got two pieces of track right here as you can see the crease it is connected by a clear connector um, actually I thought of this the exact same day that I got it so like that's ironic I thought of doing something like this with a track and then I actually guess something that was real like this take this part off and I add the uh, gray piece from the other one then I could then with a uh, gravity drop I could probably make a uh, sweet corkscrew which I actually will be doing anyways it's got some random stickers placed around it I have taped down the stickers here cuz he was trying to rip them off today so I had to yell at him and blow an air horn actually I did it from the hallway I did it from here in the living room back into my room because you know, I didn't want to hurt his ears, but... Anyway, let's turn on the quiet booster, pull the camera back a bit, and you'll see how it works. Now I've realized four cars can work on this good. Um, I didn't get a car with this, so I don't know what car actually goes to it, but the cars that I have used so far that work real good are Technium. Formula Street, Berserk, and RD02. Now, pull back here so you can get just a bit of all of it. Actually, I'll push it back so you can see it. Alright, now it's out there. Just move the camera here. This way it gets a bit more light, but it doesn't really help that much, does it? There, I got an idea. Let's mount it like that so you can get just about all of it. Turn it on and send the cars through. As you can see, two at a time is more efficient than having three or four. Well, let's try three. Three works fine, but eventually the uh, 
the booster does get slower with more cars and not enough time to pick up speed again, so like Technium's case, you just fell off. Or you can have them intersect at a wrong point and have them mess up. Just like that, so uh, I used RD02 as an example of a car not to use. Send in Berserk alone. Ooh. Sorry about that. See, he goes much faster. Let's stop him and see how Formula Street does. I'll be right back. When you're using Formula Street on this track, I would hold down the loop. Well, apparently Formula Street did not want to work this time and detract itself. So, RD02's taking a pretty good run. But anyways, that's a, another track review. I need to fix my Celadome before I review it. And I will combine the two starter sets that I have reviewed to try and make a track that is twice as awesome. But it won't be an oval, it'll just be straightforward. But anyway, this is me signing off. See you next review.